If you're a fan of the fine arts and fluttering insects, this week is looking to be a great one for you. Dina Kepfer, who is a little butterfly herself, is looking with a closer look at some beautiful paintings in Sacramento. Hi, Dina. Yes, good morning to you. And on cue, the train is coming by this old historic <laughs> building. And so pardon our noise <laughs> if you hear it. But this is just a wonderful opportunity to celebrate a local artist and to take a look at not only the beautiful works by Judith Monroe, a professor, but also the other artists that are here at the Kennedy Gallery Art Center. So what you're looking at here, though, is a piece of this dreamscape. It is the Butterfly Dreamscape exhibit, and it is featuring, again, the works of Professor Judith Monroe. And to talk more about this, we have Michael Kennedy, who's the director of the gallery. Good morning to you. Hi, Dina. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes, thank we you for having us. Having you guys with us. Oh, well, we love being here. We feel so fortunate when we get invited. Okay, so let's talk about the, the pieces that are going to be kind of on display here for the next couple of weeks. This exhibit. So Judith is a real treat. We we have had her years ago, and I caught eye of this new work that she was doing, and I said, you have to come and exhibit. Yeah. So Judith is a really accomplished photographer but she uses that as her own clip art in these mixed media pieces. Mm -hmm. So she kind of takes uh, photography to a different level. And you can see there's just dozens and dozens of layers, um, including painting, found objects, and it's so tempting to come up and, and I do, it's okay. <laughs> uh, you just want to touch them because they, they just have so much going on in yeah, them. Yeah. And we love that. We, we want people to come down and get close with art again. Yeah. You know, we've, we've been missing everyone from COVID. Second Saturdays are back. And they're back in a big way. We have live music. We've got um, the markets on, on Saturday early in the morning. But come down for Second Saturday, support the local artists. And we have 18 resident artists here too. So there's a lot to see on all three floors, right? Yes, yes. and I've been making my way around. We did our little teaser at a little spot we did before the commercial break upstairs to show more of Judith's work because it really is, pardon the pun, spread throughout the gallery like a butterfly would spread its wings. Uh, but let's also talk about the fact you mentioned it, you know, the art scene it took such a big hit during COVID and with things like Second Saturdays and being able to even have Judith come in this Saturday to, to see people in person again. Let's talk about that opportunity folks get. It's been so rough. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of the businesses got a, a lot of funding and support, but the art scene, we really didn't get that. Artists were kind of on the bottom of that. We didn't see the grants and things. So unfortunately, you know, many of our galleries closed permanently. So we're down to a few of us and we don't want to close too. No. So we really do want people to come back and um, it, it's year round. Yeah. So second Saturday is in the fall and winter too. People get confused about that because <laughs> the city says you can't do it outside. Uh -huh. But the brick and mortar, we have it every single month. Okay. So, okay. but we, we want everyone to come back and bring their families. It's a great date night. Yeah. Um, and time to redecorate your homes. Yes. We, we've been stuck in our houses for two years, so <laughs> come and redecorate. Yeah. That always makes everyone feel Definitely. so much more alive. And right? how proud would you feel to be hosting something like this, a beautiful works of heart from a local artist? Again, Judith Monroe, uh, she is going to be here at the gallery on Saturday from 1 to 5 if you want to come and see her in person. And then again, the second Saturdays are back, so every second Saturday of the month, come support the gallery center and then all the other local artists and the community we have here in downtown Sacramento. We'll have all the info on our website as well, gooddaysacramento.com. Thanks so much for having us, Michael. Thanks.